Hello and welcome to the Linux command line tips and tricks video series. In this video, we will look at how to forensically wipe your drives. What is forensically prepared media? It is media that does not have residual data from previous use. Why do we need to forensically wipe our staging media? For data security, control of spillage, and prevention of contamination of data from one case to another case. And depending on the accreditation of your laboratory, it may be part of your standard operating procedures. How do we forensically wipe our drives? Deleting all the files on a drive does not accomplish forensic wiping. Formatting a drive is not forensic wiping. And a brand new drive is not forensically prepared. Media devices that we encounter these days come in different flavors. You may see traditional spindle drives that use the IDE, SATA, or SCSI protocol, or you may see SSD drives that sit on the SATA bus and uses the AHCI transfer protocol. And lastly, on newer machines, you will see SSD drives that sit on the PCIe bus and uses the NVMe transfer protocol. Different software will be used to handle each of these different types of drives. To wipe a spindle hard drive, you need to write a pattern to every single byte on that disk. The DD set of tools can accomplish that task. The Kane 12 distro contains the tools DD, DCFLDD, and DC3DD. Let's start with the traditional DD program, which can be found on every distro of Linux. What you want to type is sudo dd if for input file equals slash dev slash zero, which is the special device that would supply you with an infinite amount of zeros. And then of for output file equals slash dev slash sda or slash dev slash sdb or whatever device you want to wipe. You can optionally specify the block size for speed optimization. So here we're going to specify block size equals 8192, which is the 8k block size. Lastly, on some versions of DD, there is the status command where you can get the progress while DD is running. Once you are ready, you can hit enter and off it goes wiping your drive. Because the system is literally writing to every single byte on that hard drive, this can take a while. A typical one terabyte spindle drive will take about three hours to wipe. The tool DC3DD has more flexibility as you can specify a pattern and also verify the wipe. Let's go ahead and do our first example where we specify a pattern. We can do sudo dc3dd wipe equals slash dev sda or sdb or whatever your device is. And then specify pat equals a pattern. So in this case, I'm going to do 5a, which means it's going to write, be writing bits of 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. DC3DD defaults to using 00 as the white pattern if it's not explicitly specified. You can also have DC3DD read back the drive to verify that the wipe was properly performed. To do that, we can do sudo DC3DD hwipe equals slash dev sda or sdb or whatever your device letter is. And for the wipe verification, we need to specify a hash algorithm. So in this case, let's go ahead and specify hash equals MD5. Then let's hit enter and let it do its thing. When it's done, we can see here that DC3DD first writes the pattern of zero to the device, and then it reads it back. It compares the MD5 hash of the writes and then the read back. So here we see that we have a successful wipe because the MD5s match. 
To wipe a SSD, you don't want to write a zero to every single byte on that disk. Because the way that SSDs write data internally, if you write to every single byte of that SSD, you can decrease the lifespan of that drive. There are currently two types of SSDs you may see in your system. One is sitting on a SATA bus, and the other type is sitting on a PCIe bus. If you run the lsblock command, and you can see the device, then it's sitting on the SATA bus. So let's go ahead and run hdparm to take a look at the current security settings. If you look at down here, in this section, we can see that security settings are supported. The password is not enabled. The drive is not locked. The drive is not frozen. The number of times you've tried the password has not exceeded the maximum of five. And it does support enhance erase. So let's go ahead and set the password for the device. And for passwords, you can set the master level or user level. All right, so here we're telling it that we want to use the user level password. The master level is basically reserved for the manufacturers. And we want to go ahead and set the password. And the password is going to be Blue Monkey Forensics. And we're going to put it to our SSD. So it comes back and says it's issued that command. So everything is good. So how do we verify that? We can do the HD parm again. And this time, what we see here is that that word not has been removed. So that now it's enabled. So now we have a password set. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to wipe an SSD. The HD parm command can also be used to quickly and securely erase an SSD. To wipe a typical one terabyte hard drive by writing all zeros to every byte usually takes about three hours to do. Using HD parm, this can be implemented in less than two minutes for an SSD. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. All right, so we're gonna once again use the HD parm command. We're gonna supply the user password, user level password. We're gonna issue the security erase command. And then we're going to supply our password and we're going to apply it to SDC. And once we've done that, it says that it takes two minutes, but usually I find this is going to take less than a minute or so, so a few seconds. All right, and there it's done. So to verify, let's go ahead and do sudo hdparm again on SDC. And one thing you notice is that the password has been uh, disabled. Once you do a security erase, it uh, erases everything including the password. The other thing we can do is we can do disk type again. Right now it says it's blank disk medium. And lastly, we can also do the XXD to look at the binary data. And you can see that it is in fact completely wiped. If you have an SSD that's on the PCIe bus and using the NVMe protocol, then you will need to use the NVMe set of tools to access the SSD. We first do a listing of all NVMe devices to see what we have. So sudo NVMe list. This is going to show all of the NVMe's along with their serial numbers and makes and formats and so forth. Next, we can go ahead and do the wipe with a secure erase. sudo nvme format dash s1 for secure erase, and then slash dev slash nvme 0 n1. And then we get a confirmation that it has successfully formatted namespace 1. And another way we can do to verify is to use the disk type command. We do disk type slash dev slash nvme 0 n1. And I forgot that we need to do a sudo. So we're going to do sudo space bang bang 
to rerun that command and we can see that it says blank disk medium so that disk is successfully wiped all right so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about the concepts of wiping drives we looked at using the command dc3dd to wipe spindle drives, hdparm to wipe a SSD, and then the NVMe command set to wipe SSDs that are on the PCIe bus. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.